The eighth day in a row, Missouri is reporting more than 1,000 new COVID-19 cases. Today's count is near 1,400. We will get an update from Kansas tomorrow. As for the state's positivity rates, Missouri is up a bit to 13.9% of tests coming back positive. The rate in Kansas is 16.6%. The national average is 5.5%. Kansas is ranked one of the worst states in the nation when it comes to COVID-19. According to the Kansas Department of Health, Kansas ranks sixth in the country for the number of new cases based on population. The state's health director, Dr. Lee Norman, says the latest White House report shows Kansas has 152 new cases per 100,000 people. The national average is 88 new cases per 100,000. Now there is some good news in that report. Kansas is in the green zone when it comes to testing. The state has been able to exceed the number of tests recommended by the task force. Tonight, a union protecting teachers and staff is calling on the Missouri Department of Elementary and Secondary Education to create a database of COVID-19 in schools. Investigative reporter Matt Fleener explains why. As KNBC 9 News has reported this week, COVID-19 cases have started sidelining sports teams around the Kansas City area. Monday, uh, we got a call from one of our coaches saying that uh, he had some COVID symptoms, uh, specifically the loss of taste and smell. Lathrop superintendent telling the community multiple coaches and multiple players have tested positive. The first thing, of course, is to have a statewide repository where districts were required to report. It's cases like Lathrop, so the Missouri National Education Association wants the State Department of Education to publish for all schools statewide. It sent this letter Wednesday to the State Commissioner of Education calling for the specific building or activity where the exposure occurred and actions the school district is taking to inform staff and students. We think that is an important thing to happen statewide so that everybody knows what's going on. In Lathrop's case, the district told its entire community. Moving forward, MNEA hopes that happens for all districts. Matt Fleener, KBC 9 News. Tonight at 6, an exclusive KNBC 9 News investigation. Investigative reporter Matt Fleener breaks down how many districts are not sharing information about COVID-19 cases with their community. More than 17,000 workers have been infected with COVID-19 at meat packing plants across the country. Now Tyson Foods says it will open medical clinics at its plants. You may recall at the you may recall at the height of the pandemic, Tyson had to shut down several of its locations because of sick workers. Now as part of this pilot program, Program, Tyson Foods will set up clinics near seven of its plants, including the plant in Holcomb, Kansas. That's in Finney County. The clinics are expected to be up and running early next year. Jackson County, Missouri is offering more chances for people to get tested for the coronavirus. The times and locations for the free testing next week are up on your screen now. You don't have to be showing symptoms to get tested. Registration is open on the Jackson County Health Department's website. Coronavirus cases in the U.S. have now topped 6.1 million as concerns surrounding the deadly virus stretch from health issues to political implications. KBC 9's Matt Pritchard is in Washington with a closer look. Millions of cases, more than 186,000 dead in the U.S. And health experts say... In the pandemic, the United States is not doing well. We are now in a shameful state. People uh, all over the world don't take us seriously. Concerns surrounding COVID-19 are only growing, with recent CDC guidance telling states to prepare for vaccine distribution as early as November. We do need to have the distribution mechanisms in place. It's going to be a lot to, once the vaccines are licensed and available, to distribute them to all Americans. Um, However, the timing is a little concerning. Coming just ahead of Election Day. What really comes to mind is the two words, October surprise. Uh, the idea that something can happen that can really change the uh, fortunes of the person in office. The fears that have been pushed aside by government officials. The FDA and the CDC, they're data-driven organizations. So I think the people can feel confident that when these data come in, they'll be examined appropriately and a decision made. And echoed by the White House. He will not in any way uh, sacrifice safety um, and making sure that this is 100% airtight before um, the American people receive it. Turning their attention to another three-day weekend for Americans and the spike in cases it could cause. Particularly as we go on the other side of Labor Day and enter into the fall, we want to go into that with a running start in the right direction. 
Currently, three coronavirus vaccine candidates are undergoing phase three trials here in the U.S. The city of Lawrence is announcing police officers will resume writing parking tickets again. Officers were temporarily ignoring time-limited parking zones and meters during the pandemic. Parking enforcement will begin a week from Monday, September 14th. City leaders say traffic has started to increase on Massachusetts Street and in the parking garages.